Hello and welcome back everybody. In this video, I will show you how to de-bloat a brand new Samsung Galaxy smartphone or in other words, I will show you how to uninstall and disable unnecessary apps that come pre-installed from the factory. And the phone that I will be demonstrating this on is the Samsung Galaxy M31s and this is a brand new straight out of the box phone so I haven't even finished the initial setup. And this video should be valid for pretty much any Samsung Galaxy smartphone but it's mainly valid for the entry level and the mid-range phones because the flagships don't really have any bloatware on them anyway. So I'm also using the Note 20 Ultra and this phone did not come with any bloatware installed but my Samsung Galaxy M51 did. And after disabling and uninstalling all the bloatware on this phone, I got better performance and better battery backup. So uninstalling bloatware is very very important and because this is a brand new phone i will start off from the initial setup because there are a few things that you need to disable over here from the setup so that the bloatware does not get installed in the first place but if you have already completed the initial setup don't worry you can skip to the part where i show how to disable the bloatware on the phone by the way time code is in the video description all right so i have my sim card inside the phone i'm gonna tap on next now over here check the end user license agreement and the privacy policy box these three you should leave unchecked because you don't want the phone to send your diagnostic data nor you want the phone to link your diagnostic information with demographic interest preferences data from samsung account so we we'll leave these three unchecked and also receipt of marketing information this should also be unchecked and that's it press on next Okay, so after connecting the phone to Wi-Fi and signing in with a Google account and finishing off with the initial setup, you will see this screen. Tap on done and select your language from here. Click on next. Now this part is very, very important. Make sure that you disable this. Allow Iron Source to install and make recommendation of new apps of interest. This will install bloatware on your phone if you check this icon. So make sure that you disable this during the initial setup itself. Now you can tap on continue and I will press on skip because we don't really need the phone to know the gender and all that. I will skip. Oh, okay. So the phone really wants to install all these applications. So what I'm going to do is click on modify. Then I will uncheck all of these because these are all bloatwares and I don't want the phone to automatically install them. If I want to install some apps, I will do that later. So that's it. Uncheck and finish. So I have given the phone couple of minutes to settle down, also recharge the battery. All right, so the next thing you should do is open up the app drawer and over here, go through your app list and uninstall apps that you are not going to use. And I have also noticed that the phone has installed some more bloatware like share chat, this MX thing, Candy Crush, MOJ. So these are the applications that I'm never ever going to use. The phone has installed them automatically so what i'll do is long press and uninstall now if you are using these applications that's okay you can leave them on your phone but if you are not you can just long press uninstall and that's how you get rid of all of the bloatware on your samsung galaxy smartphone so i'll do this for all of these applications one by one now Samsung Max is a built-in application so there is no uninstall option so in this case you can just disable this and I'm gonna uninstall Daily Hunt because again I'm not using these and same goes for my Galaxy I'll not be using this so disable. Now Amazon Shopping App, Snapchat, Samsung Shop and Prime Video were also pre-installed but since I plan on using these applications I will leave them installed on the phone. So that is it. We have uninstalled all the bloatware from our brand new Samsung Galaxy M31. The next thing you should do is open up the Galaxy Store and make a few changes over here. So the first time you launch the Galaxy Store, you will see this screen. So it's basically prompting us to install a couple of applications, which I honestly think are bloatware. And if I want to install any applications, I'll do them myself. So you will have to open these up and uncheck them one by one so that the Galaxy Store does not install any additional applications on our phone. So that's it. We have unchecked all of them and now we will tap on continue and I will deny the location access for Galaxy Store and I will also disable receive notifications about new and exclusive content from Galaxy Store. Again, I don't want 
any advertisements on my phone. So that's how you prevent the Galaxy Store from automatically installing apps on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Also another bloatware feature you should absolutely switch off is the discover feature right over here. So again it's suggesting me to install all these apps. I don't want any of these apps on my phone. If I want I will install them manually. So pinch in on your home screen, go to home screen settings and disable discover from over here. And now if we go to our app shot, that discover icon is now gone. Also, if you want to sort these apps alphabetically, tap on these three dots, select sort and select alphabetical order. And now the apps will be easier to find. Another feature that I like to change is the lock screen wallpapers. Now, by default, you'll have Samsung Glance and I think this glance screen is kind of a advertisement feature so you see this advertisement happening over here i don't want any advertisement on my phone so what i'll do is pinch in tap on wallpapers and then wallpaper services and i will change this to dynamic lock screen you can also set none if you want a static wallpaper but dynamic lock screen is nice and what you want to do is tap on the gear icon select category from over here i have selected food but pets is also nice and these dynamic lock screen wallpapers will be updated every two weeks so that's nice samsung will keep these updated so that's it it has been applied dynamic lock screen is active so i'll put my phone to sleep wake it up i have a wallpaper put my phone to sleep wake it up again i have a different wallpaper so every time you wake your phone up you will see a new lock screen wallpaper and if you swipe like this, you can check out different wallpapers on your lock screen. And these are proper high resolution wallpapers and they look gorgeous on the AMOLED screen. And finally, you should disable an application called App Cloud on your phone. So this is an application which installs bloatware. So drop down the notification panel, go to settings, scroll down to apps, tap over here and then locate App Cloud. Go ahead and disable this application for good and i'm also going to disable all the notifications because in case the application restarts i don't want this application to send me any notifications because it's just junk installed on the phone so now we don't have any advertisements or any bloatware on the phone the phone is now completely yours to customize so now let me show you a couple of settings that you should tweak on your brand new samsung galaxy smartphone to get a better experience starting with the battery percentage meter in the status bar. So if you want to check the battery percentage, you always have to drop down the notification panel and then the phone shows you the battery percentage. But we want the battery percentage to be always there because it's nice to keep a track on how much charge you've got. So drop down the notification panel, go to settings, then tap on notifications, then tap on status bar and enable show battery percentage. And now the phone will always show you the battery percentage in the status bar. Also, change the setting to all notifications so that the phone shows you more than three notifications in the status bar. Another tweak we want to make is that we want the brightness slider to be over here. So if you want to change the brightness, you have to drop down the notification panel twice and then the phone shows you the brightness slider. We want this to be here. So drop down the notification panel and tap on these three dots, then select quick panel layout. And over here, enable this option which says show brightness on top. So now you will see the brightness slider when you swipe down the notification panel once. You don't have to reveal the entire notification panel to see the brightness slider. Also, another feature that will help you save a bit of battery power is dark mode. And you can go to settings, go to display and switch on dark mode from over here. So as you can see, this changes the theme of the phone from white to black. And this phone has an OLED screen so the pixels themselves generate their own light and if the screen is black the pixels are not generating any light and they are completely off thereby saving battery power. Thus the black theme is easier on the eyes. Also this is a fairly big screen phone and when you are using it with one hand it's kind of difficult to drop down the notification panel you kind of have to do this. Now there is a feature that will let you drop the notification panel by swiping down on the home screen. Right now, if you swipe down, it opens up the app drawer. If you swipe up, that also opens up the app drawer. So why not change this? So long press on the home screen, go to home screen settings, scroll down and enable 
swipe down for notification panel and now when you swipe down like this it opens up the notification panel you can also enable the fingerprint sensor gesture if your phone has a fingerprint scanner like this so to open up the notification panel using the fingerprint scanner you have to swipe down like this so drop down the notification panel go to settings scroll down to advanced features then tap on motion and gestures and enable finger sensor gesture so now when you swipe down on the fingerprint scanner that will reveal the notification panel and swipe down again to reveal the entire notification panel swipe up to close now from my experience there are two settings in advanced features that you should absolutely disable go to settings then scroll down to advanced features then go to motion and gestures and disable lift to wake and double tap to wake these two are not that stable and the phone keeps on waking up in the pocket and this was a huge problem on my samsung galaxy m51 so i kind of ended up disabling these two options and after you disable them the phone will not wake up in your hands or in your pocket also a lot of people were asking me that whenever i open up my recent what are these applications so these are kind of suggested application and if you want you can turn them off by pressing on these three dots go to settings and switch off suggested application and now the phone will not show you anything once you go to recents and finally guys the last thing you should do is go to settings then scroll all the way down tap on software update and then tap on download and install to check for any new updates as you can see we have a new update for our phone so we will download and install this for better performance and bug fixes and whenever a new update is released search on youtube what the update is all about and then if you are satisfied only then install the new update so we are going to install now so thank you guys for watching if this video was helpful do make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content on samsung galaxy smartphones and also do make sure to follow me on my social media accounts i'll put all the links in the video description so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video